I think there was just <clears throat> IRL aggro, and that like threw me off. But uh, we're good. That damn IRL aggro. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well, so when I looked at the, the beginning, a couple things I was considering was like, it took a hundred gold, so I, I wanted to hit the shop as you know as late as I could, like early but later than this one because I want to see if I can get something really decent. And then I'm basically forcing myself into elite, um, so I'm, I'm hoping that these fights and the shop has something that is worthwhile to make this elite worthwhile. Otherwise, this is a really early elite and pretty bad. And depending on how that goes, we can go and do another late elite, or we can go over here and just do a late elite over here and get a campfire campfire, or we can just skip and do campfire campfire, right? Another path was like a lot of early elites everywhere else. So this one just gives me like you know enough gold to perhaps do something to make this gold my favor. that for AoE. Nice. That's promising. Happy Flower, Noxious Humans. These are all... This, I think... I get to buy Happy Flower here. I mean, another thing to consider is like, okay. We're fighting Elite Guaranteed. So we can remove a card. Make the deck nice and, uh... Start moving strikes. It's, it's nice to start moving strikes, but... I can, I, can, I can see myself liking, like, buying Happy Flower and feeling okay with it. Another consideration is to, like, buy Poison, but this is not something that's, like, super impactful. And moving to Strike is nice, but I think Happy Flower is what I'm going to get here. And we'll make that go back pretty quickly with Serpent Head. So it's going to be Gremlin, Laga, or Triple Sentry. So, I think Triple Sentry and Laga both get Noxious Zooms is the bigger thing, and Neutralize is good for Laga and Gremlin as well. So, between Neutralizing Noxious... I think it's two out of three neutralized is better. Two out of three noxious fumes is better. Since we have 56 life, I'm gonna go with noxious fumes and say that if I miss a weekend, at least I have life to to take the brunt of it. And I think noxious fumes is a good update, good upgrade for this fight. But so is neutralized. This fight's gonna hurt though for sure. He's waking up now, right? I see it once a day. Slip slime head, buddy. So we got lucky that we found neutralized there. I could be like I could strike aggressively because uh, with the poison damage and effect, I think we're gonna have a nice little damage curve on him. Those are not very ideal turns, though. So poison's ramping up, but we're we're taking lots of damage. I'm sure there's like some kind of math I could do that. To dictate how many strikes or something I should play or not. So that was very painful. Pentagraph's a nice way to pay us back though. I like this for the front loader in the card draw. Yeah. It doesn't have to be brutal. That fight could also be like a joke as well. It just so happened that we, um. We kind of had, uh, not, not that great stick for it. Yo, Commander, thank you for that 100 bits. I can use to choose these trying times. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'm good, Ed. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Ash for Stabart, it's glorious. I love it. My favorite. There's just some IRO aggro, and it is silly. I should not let it affect me. My bad. My bad, I guess. <clears throat> I'm not perfect. Uh, many things are brutal, but like, like it's one of the worst. Yeah, if you have a deck, like, well, especially that early, right? That was like floor seven. Floor seven, any elite, I said 20 could be, uh, could be brutal. Careful. Don't hurt him. Careful. Be good, buddy. Okay. I like Finisher here, because we have Happy Flower, and we have Predator. 
But I feel like we're going way too... I like Finisher here. We have five strikes, Dagger Spray, and Predator, and a Finisher. It's going to be like, yikes. I think too much offense. But I think Finisher works extremely well with the ability to card draw Predator and Happy Flower giving me energy on some turns. So we're going to go ahead and do it. And our, our sole goal here is going to be to remove... Alright, so Botanado is interesting. So Noxious Swimming's first turn or Cowtrap's first turn? Cowtrap's first turn is better against the birds. I think Noxious Swim's first is better against like the cultist fight. Triple cultist fight is better against the you know boss fights generally for the getting the poison stack in ASAP. It's generally better for things like Spirit Guardian to get rid of the artifacts and get the poison going. Um Cowtrap's is not bad against the heart. Probably better for the heart there, but I think Noxious is because it scales, you you want to get it out early. Johnson, how you doing, buddy? Shop Daddy, how you doing? Like it. I'm gonna skip the elite. Uh, it's gonna be Gremlin or Triple Century, but I think Gremlin is gonna be too painful. I have not played my food. I am tenderizing it. What's the context there? I'm gonna need some context for that one. Dashly Poison Bane. Dash gives me more block. We have so many two cost cards. If we get Snake Eye, then yes, Dash Predator and Next Super is going to be great for Snake Eye, but I'm going to do Poison. Again, we're, block is becoming an issue here. Block is becoming an issue. RTS? Oh, you're talking about StarCraft here. Well, it's Summer Starcraft 2, right? If it's Summer Starcraft 2, then I get it. Under I totally understand. I, I, I totally know what it means to tenderize my opponent in Starcraft 2. Potion Belt? <laughs> We're not buying that, are we? I like Tiny Chests. Because, look, we have Serpent Head, so we're going to be prioritizing question mark rooms and then tiny chest can give us chests and we missed a removal because of that but this is for like the long this is for the long haul guys this is gonna be like a serpent head tiny chest run it's gonna be very interesting that is pretty funny i, I, I would have to see it johnson i want to see that especially if that's the if that's starcraft 2 you're mentioning We're gonna upgrade the weekend. Uh, upgrade the weekend because we have legship fizz and fuel as good. I still like it though. Yeah, adrenaline was on sale, but oh, we have pantograph. Oh my god. I didn't. I didn't even take that into account. Like I was gonna just not rest because I didn't think I needed it, but pantograph was. Oof. We have very good. Very good relics right now. Yo, Juju Beater. Welcome. Big boy, what's going on with you, big boy? Huh? Be little big boy. Nice! Welcome, Juji! I 
using piercing will prematurely because I just want to. Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. Oh, is that an RTS I should be looking into? What are you guys fighting that for? Stop it. Stop that. I'm very ready for this combo right now. I'm I'm extremely ready for this. Enough. Nope. Stop it. Okay, so we've got offered of glass knife grand finale or thousand cuts. So thousand cuts, okay. I guess take last night just to have the front loaded. Um, with Hyper Flower, there are times we're going to have five energy. Last night, it's another strike. So we already have five strikes plus we have a lot of offense. A thousand cuts just was awkward because I don't, I don't utilize it too well just yet. Yeah, no, it's, it's totally fine, Jonathan. You don't have to. Yeah, I, I will look it up. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to find out what you're talking about later. No longer Smith. Less cards. Orrery. The deck wants cards. The deck doesn't want a Smith. I like Fusion Hammer better than Busted Crown here. The combo right here is uh, Serpent Head and Tiny Chest. So Serpent Head can get 50 gold every time you enter a question mark room, and then the question mark rooms are more likely to contain treasure. So we want to hunt out the question event rooms. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, okay, by doing that, I get a lot of event rooms, which could be relics and could give me gold, but then I don't get as many elites. But let's, let's stick with the theme here, guys. Right, there's also one, two three four of that room is but also getting campfires but campfires are not as good because we can't upgrade so let's go for it six of that rooms this is the theme yeah 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 I I, I that would be a good time to highlight with the legends Lots of energy not utilizing. Happy Flower is not getting utilized as often as it can. But we keep our gold. Yeah, so if you, I'll show you. I think Acrobatics is not bad. It's upgraded already, and it also we have at times we have a lot of energy with Happy Flower, but we also have expensive cards like Predator, Leg Sweep. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll take it. So if you go like this, you can see. So we got one, two, three, four. Five six. That's a new addition, though. So we got bone fifty gold. I might might have a light transform there actually. This might have been a decent turn for Ghost in the Jar actually as well. That's at eleven. 11 block goes to the jar, but Ghostnard can easily surpass that. With Pentagraph, I know it's a little long shot away, but you know, we can take some damage. As long as we're like at half or a little bit below half, we'll heal it up at the end. So let's keep track of this. We get 50 gold so far and then no relics. 
Boys, you guys are out of control. Hey, 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 enough, 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 enough. Hey, 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 enough, enough, enough. You know what? I, this is just a daily thing for us, guys. Justice, why do you keep telling me to pet my dogs, bro? <laughs> what are you implying? There's nothing to do with being pet. I'll take this is block. I give them tons of love. They, but they're loving each other. You see, look, I'll pet them. Watch, watch, watch. There you go. Oh. They're just doggies. Doggies are playing with each other. Look at that energy. Yeah, they're doing dominance. Like, it's, it's honestly, it's about you nail it on the head. It's a dominance game, you know. Like the small dog likes to like try to get on top, despite the, and then you know it's just back and forth kind of thing. I mean, and then they'll let it out on the pillow. Like I'll be streaming, I'll be playing side part, and before I know, it, there's a clip of them humping a pillow because they're they're getting really aggressive in their show of dominance, and the only way to let it out is to show the pillow who's boss because the pillow doesn't react. So, um, it ends up, yeah, Pillow ends up getting the, the shite end of the stick. Reflex. Bouncing flask. Alright, so we're gonna go, again, another question mark, boom. Oh, did we fight this? If we go to the jar, okay, this could be okay. I wish I had energy, because I want to play Noxious. That's 9 damage. If we have to, we'll use the... Uh Ghost in the jar. I could have done acrobatics first. Red mask. Tools of the trade. Do I mind towards a trade? I don't like this deck so far. The only thing I like is the fact that we can potentially get um more events with this. So we're gonna be becoming rich and we also maybe getting relics, so we'll see. Okay. Wow, the combo is real. Bag of marbles with mutagenic strength. Not bad. Mole plans, not bad. Removing a strike. Not bad. Okay, 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 okay. What do we feel about any of these? I like that opener. Two more events. Oh, wait, did I not just do the strikes? So I had... Those dogs look like they want some extra long scratches. Extra long scratches? I give my dogs lots of love, boys and girls. What they're doing right now, guys, it's about. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's sexual frustration or just a show of dominance. It's, it's a plethora of things, but. Stop it. Come on. What does scratches even mean, though? Should let opener first. Hey.
Yeah, nothing to do with sex, I know. My dog's fixed as well, he does it as well. Backflip plus. Getting an upgraded car is pretty nice. Okay, now... We got a bag of marbles. But I don't, I'm not getting that many uh, attacks early. I have that opener as well. Don't, don't bite that. No, no. No, no, no. Yikers. That's just Man. And this must be a meme that I'm not I'm not privy to. But I respect the commitment. Yo, Gilman, Gilmai, happy New Year's man. Check mine at times. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by you have a pretty one track mind? Alright, more gold. Worth the treasure, tiny chest. I mean, that's such good damage. It's ridiculous. So what I'm asking is, why are you so fixated on petting? Is this like a... Are we untapping something... Like a dog petting fetish? Now the reason why I was going to kill her first because I figured I had enough damage. I'm not against petting my dogs, but... I pet my dog all the time. No, no, no. But they're not acting out. See, that, that's why I'm asking you. Because, like, they're not acting out of not being pet. That's not, that's not what they're acting out. It's not a question of love. It's... A, well, well do, you, do you have, um... Do you have two dogs? Do you have, like, two brothers? Two young brothers? So when they're two young brothers, they this is how they interact and communicate. It's, the reason why I keep calling good about the pet thing is because it seems like you're telling me to pet as a result of what you see on stream, and I'm just confused because it's like I would want you to think of what they're doing as a result of me not petting them or loving them. So it's not me. It's not me being against petting my dogs. It's just disagreeing with your notion. Well, 
But it did justice. I questioned you like many times and you still persisted. So I was like, at some point I took you seriously. So I was like, so we got finally got treasure. We finally got treasure and it's not from that. But this is not bad though. So now we're going to get pantograph fuel. I need to upgrade that while he plans. What's up, Sensor? Sensor, welcome back, dude. Two months in a row. What's up? How you doing, buddy? Just remember that we're watching you. What do you mean by that? Just remember that we're watching you. You <laughs> cat is trolling the crap out of me. I, guess I had IRO aggro, guys. I got tilted by IRO aggro. Wait, my mic's in the wrong place. Because I had IRO aggro, I got tilted because of it. For reasons that it's too long to explain. I was trying to reset and trying to calm down because I had. And then. Now chat is trolling me. Okay, I see how it is, guys. I see how it is. Alright, 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 alright. Baby, I like it. So, question here, boys and girls: <clears throat> Do we accept the pantograph? Um, do we accept the pantograph heal and call it a day? Do we think that we want to do catalyst and have some play? Is it gonna do what we need and make the? Okay, I was gonna say day again, but that's bad. I was trying to be a poet, and it, my my run as a poet kind of lasted uh two lines. Do we take the catalyst and call it a day? No, do we take the pentagraph hue and call it a day? Do we take the catalyst and try to have some play? We got poison and noxious fumes so I could see okay. But there's also the consideration of... We're gonna block consistently, right? Well, we have Ghost in the Jar, works case scenario. Our block is not ideal, especially when we're going to be frail. So we have the Ghost in the Jar for that reason, for that moment. Dodge and roll. Let's take the Catalyst here. If we rest, 19 more HP. Ver oh, we can't upgrade anyways. <laughs> My bad. Whoopsies. Yo, Ilya! Happy New Year to Canada, man. Hope you're having a great one. Hope, hope 2018 is gonna be... Hope 2019 is already kicking, your, kicking his ass for you. Flush, Happy New Year to Brazil, man. How you doing? I saw the, the real fireworks. Little fireworks over in Rio. On, on, on stream. Green mouth thing? Oh, you want to know about that green mouth thing, huh? Kink little boy. It's uh, the serpent head. So, whenever we enter a question mark room, we get 50 gold, and then we combine that with the. Um... But guys, I'm an American Idol, by the way. It's my audition. Simon, are you ready for me? So, I'm actually holding a mic, like, like I'm serenading you while I stream. It's very uh, interesting. We need to find a week in here. Bam. Jig, jig, jiggy with it. 
All right, so I like the glass knife. I like the teleports because we have Catalyst, but I like the glass knife. The terror. I like a lot of things. But now if we get Catalyst now, it'd be fantastic. Beautiful. Love it. Yeah, Super Head is not very common. So it's a weaken. Doggo! Yeah, the dogs are acting up. Buddy, you guys, you guys are burning your energy out. It's all good. So we did it, boys. Happy flower next turn with backflip. Now, I say we did it, and then... Oh, yeah, we're fine. Worst case scenario, we have Ghost in Jar. Finisher for the win. <clears throat> okay, so we have gold... And we're looking for relics. So my whole plan, guys, if you guys didn't, I did every single event. I went for six question mark rooms and got 300 gold because of it. And I bought membership card. So we're rich. And we have 50% discount. And then we're looking for maybe getting relics. We didn't get too lucky with the relics, but we did get a lot of gold. Corpse explosion is so good. Oof. I like adrenaline too, but corpse... Transform, Sneko, or Black Star. Uh, no, no, no. Sneko with Predator and already have energy. That's not bad. And that's not bad. We have Predator, Leg Sweep. Maybe seven card draw. We have four energy. We have Corpse Explosion. We also have five energy at times with Happy Flower. Am I ever going to regret the, the Sneko eye? Let's find out. Alright. So, question marks. We want to prioritize. One, two. Wait. Oh my god. Look at the right path. One, two, three, four. Wow. Ah, okay. One, two, three, four. Four question marks. Plus sparkle. Plus a shop. Baby, if got the magic, got the magic. Woo. That's it. We gotta do sparkle. We gotta do sparkle. Predator for one, mm, baby. Predator for one. When I go to dinner, I order predator for one. I immediately get arrested. I'll take, a, I'll take a predator for one, baby. Sir, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. We're just getting started. Alright, Snake White made the deck so much better. He says after one fight. Now the finisher would have been interesting. Hey, man. Serpentine, you're doing great. Tiny chest? Not so much. Oh, Sneko, Sneko. Oh, say it ain't so. Just got off a long shift of delivering pizzas, so I know the value of tips. Keep up the amazing content. Absolute favorite STS content creator. Happy New Year, Jeremy. Thank you. The the way that the... The way that the lady said my name at the end... It was very personal. Happy New Year, Jeremy. She said it so matter of fact. Wow, it's touching. Thank you, man. That's really I really do appreciate that. Um, thank you for fifteen dollars. It's very generous, dude. Are you in the chat right now? Did I miss you in the chat? I want to do corpse. What am I doing? Not too late. Hold on to it. Hey, what's up, man? Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Happy New Year to you too, as well. I could have played Corpus version earlier and did a lot more damage, whatever.
Explode the exploder, isn't that fitting? Our deck feels really good right now. More catalyst, which we can't upgrade with Cloak and Dagger Plus, which is not bad. It's more block, which our deck would like a little bit more block, but also at times hits finisher. Is that a consideration? I, I think so. I think finisher is not a bad consideration, but it's catalyst number two, which with Corpse Explosion is already taking care of Deca or Donu rather. And against the heart, having the poison as a way to do damage, it's not bad. But if we're looking at upgrades, I mean, this is kind of interesting. But, you know, two shifts against the heart is not really something you really want. And I don't have too much synergy with it. But, I mean, the synergy I have right now is Finisher. I could just skip as well. Baby, I've got the magic. So, we got Finisher first turn. For 26 damage. This is a bad snake white turn. Noxious Tombs would have been nice. I think two Catalyst helps against the heart to wrap up the damage there, yeah. This might be a Ghost in the Jar turn. I'm not decided yet. And maybe not. I mean, it's kind of a lot of damage. If, I should have just taken the Ghost of the Jar just, and just gone for damage here, because now I'm a little behind on the damage curve. And their damage is not getting any slower, and I'm still taking Truckler to the face. My bad. Another important thing to consider is we don't have Noxious Tombs out. We did not get Corpse Explosion out. Get the Fs ready in the chat. Come on, boys. And that's a rough, that's a rough. I see a corpse right now. Alright, the fight could have been worse. Piercing will plus. I mean, this turn is so good when we have a bag of marbles with mutagenic. I know. Snake Y is not perfect. And not being able to upgrade things like um, Wally Plants is painful. I did pitch him with her because I want to get the um, Predator. Interesting turn here. Finisher is kind of ugly. Three mana piercing will. Oof. Does it actually cover the block? Is it superior to this? Feels. I feel like it definitely is. Imagine we get bullet time. Chrissy, you're a prophet. Say it and it shall happen. Right now. More backflips? Sure, but...
All right, now guys, guys, let's be weary. All right, let's be weary. Our, our, our fallen brother. This is reaching new heights. This is promising you membership card 915. Numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Now, I ain't saying I'm a gold digger, but we ain't messing with no broke, broke serpent. That didn't, that didn't really work. Ah, uh, uh, that was bad. Jeez, this is gonna hurt. Woo! Luckily, we, we can only rest. Like we're forced to rest. I'm playing it safe. Loot the chest for key. Skip the chest, don't get a key, got it. Skip the chest, don't get a key. Thank you, chat. I was, I was gonna forget. Skipping the chest. And forgetting the key. Where's the mall bank? <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be interesting, though. I don't know. But it's all in Snickle Wise hands right now. Isaac, I see what you're doing, buddy. And the pillow doesn't appreciate it. All right, and if the pillow doesn't appreciate it, and in my house, if any inanimate object is having a rough time, I tell you to stop it. Also, for the fact that that's a pillow, right? And come on, come on, buddy, don't do that. All right, boys. Let's see what the sparkle is, and let's see what happens, and how we can do it. Root of holes? Gambler, gambler versus... Is double gambler better than vulnerable? I would say so. Sorry, Art of War. Oh, Reptomansa! That's a good first turn. That's a good first turn. Man, that's a finisher that's being spent on two HP minion? No. I refuse. Yeah, Courier would be nice. Pishima would be nice right about now, too. Wow, Snake has been kind of kind right now. Snake has been very kind. He's been very kind to me. Let me not be... Ooh, oh my lordy. Okay, 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 okay. The weekend would have been nice. The weekend would be nice, Gotcha would be nice. I would rather do the weekend here. Corpsey, corpsey. 
We like to party, corpsey, corpsey, everybody party. It's not bad damage, but problem of corpse here is we have two catalysts, but problem of corpse here is um I still need six damage on top of it, which I don't have. So there's the damage, but that, now I can't. I want to hold Callus, but I also want to hold on to this piercing will, right? <clears throat> Not a very good turn here. I appreciate this turn. Mm, I don't appreciate that turn. The wounds are gonna start messing me up too. This is very, this is nice. I want to draw real quick. Hmm. So deadly poison kills that guy and then. Predator gets this guy to 2 HP away. So I would need to do. Oh. Easy clap. Math is a good thing. Boom, ba -da -dum, bum, 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 bum. Corpse explosion. Pressing well again. If I focus on damage on her, I might be able to kill this easier. I don't know, like... Okay, we're forced to rest with a pantograph, so it's not the end of the world. But we're a little unhealthy. Pantographs can help a lot, though. Lots of gold. I got bursts. Burst is insane. Okay, lots of gold. Holy shite. Verdamte shite. Verdamte shite. Oh my, I am percolated. Now what I want is, everything's so cheap. I like Cloak and Dagger if I can, for sure again, but like, I need the upgrades. I'll take it. Energy pot, why not? It's so cheap, dirt cheap. Magnetism? Eh. Eh. So we have Panagraph, we're forced to rest, we have Panagraph, and then we get a recall, right? So then this is like another shop or something? Finesse, because I think Finesse is awkward with uh, Snake Away. So... This is not, this doesn't count as an elite, but guys, let me explain. We have Paper Crane, and Paper Crane is very... Strong, I believe. An ancient tea set as well for the first turn. Oh, yes, no. <laughs> Immediate instant yes, instant no. 
I, I wish I can upgrade what I plans. Ay, ay, ay. Uber turn. Uber. Uber turn. With the weekend, we'll be fine. We just gotta get the weekend. And the guy on the right is pretty close to dying. And corpse explosion. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Got the healing too. Nice, 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 nice. Now, balancing flash is kind of nice because. Um. It's gonna be cheaper most of the time, and that gives more poison, which can help. Or callous. Let's do it. I maneuver. Hmm. Bouncing into catalyst. It's giving me like an upgrade, like apotheosis bottles or something. Is that too much to ask for? No, it's not, right? Burst blur is not bad, but. Corpus is for more poison. Burst is interesting here. Go for strength as well. We could do burst, cloak and dagger, and then glass knife. Or we can just do blur. I think blur is nice. But burst blur? I like burst cloak. Come on, buddy. Hey, come on. And we got blur for the next turn. The deck's fantastic now. Deck is amazing. I could use that for the healing, but I think we're pretty good right now in terms of um, with Pentagraph, we're gonna be totally fine. Then we're gonna recall. Weaken is important. You see how scary he is. Let's tone that down. Now, we can just also do Catalyst. Catalyst tones it down a little bit too. This tones it down. I think that we're not taking the dimension no matter what, right? So, like, if we do Catalyst into Cloak and Dagger into, uh... Like, we're not taking damage, right? Sometimes the, sometimes the math is weird, though. Sometimes the math is, like... Sometimes it's not exactly, like, 75 poison won't equal... Yeah, easy, okay. We got the healing as well. But now this turn we would have liked the weekend. Oh, we got the weekend. Never mind, it's easy. Okay. We should be full life going into this and then let's see what we got for the heart. More cloak and dagger. Couch traps for the heart is very nice. It's couch traps number two. On top of the fact that we have paper crane. So we can do this for damage. That would really help our damage, I would think. And it's more reliable. I guess it's, it's more consistent. Like, I don't have to. Hope that Cloak of Dagger is cheaper. It's not also not upgraded, right? But maybe that's too many powers. Who knows? Alright. So they're not weak in the first turn, but... We got a decent amount of energy here. Uh, I don't want to use these potions here. I don't think we need it. It's important that I just do Corpse Explosion. So we gotta get the poison going ASAP. Ow! So we can do Terror f first and get poison, but I'd rather do the Terror because I think Terror is going to be... Oh, let's see what we got here. Burst? Nice. That was lucky. I should have drawn much earlier. I was, I was like, complete luck. But isn't always luck with piercing? Uh, I want to do Bouncing Flask. Because we have Pantograph, right? So I don't care if I take damage. It's really important that I get poison so I can get a big Catalyst and Corpse Explosion. Buddy, one second. There's the corpse. So we're gonna take the damage now. I want to do footwork, but I also want to do predator. So it's important that I weaken both of them right now. And 
And now it's GG because we got a weaken on both of them, and the weaken's gonna be super pivotal for not taking damage, and we should just be uh laughing. Burst catalyst. We'll just do catalyst, I suppose. So we just do this draw. Um Strike. Strike. Uh we should just done catalyst straight up. Because we have pentagraph. I mean, ah, it's taking lots of damage. What anyways did you know? Should I get another power out if we can? Do we have any powers we can play? Guess not. Alright. So we'll heal in the fight coming up. I gotta use the bathroom boys, I'll be right back. Um we're gonna heal in this fight, like with the powers. And I think Callus is a pretty good win condition against this boss. Alright, and if we can keep the weaken, then we should be pretty good. We're right back. Let's go. Weakens. Noxious fumes. Uh, pretty bad first turn. I wish I had a gambling pot or something. Pretty bad first turn. <laughs> so we won't play while they play. We won't play the poison, right? And that's the damage we're gonna miss out on. I'll hold on to. I can't even hold on to piercing. Do I use it now? Number one thing is we gotta get weakened and we gotta get a lot of it and we gotta stack it and stack it and stack it. Alright boys, um, right now, from a 1 out of 10, this fight's going out of 2. There's the weakens. That's the Callus right now, but... See, so Callus, I got time very... Oh, the other day I was trying to explain why it's important that Callus is like... You got time very specifically. You have to do it so that it's 3 turn lethal, but the first turn of the proc does not split him, so it has to be... There's an actual exact number for this. So, it has to be above 241. Above 240 on the first, so at 241. But then able to do 241 in two turns. So we're looking at like 120. So I have to have like 120 poison by the time he's at 360 HP. So let's say 362 HP. Give or take, 370, 360 HP. We get like 120, 119, 1,520-ish poison. Three turn lethal, and the first proc of the poison does not split him. Therefore, it's perfect. So that's our goal. It may not happen that way. The other thing is to just play this normally and do Kalos on this after he splits. So I want to do Bouncing Flask. I want to get the poison going, but I don't want to take damage. It's a dilemma. Yeah, we can just get 60. So burst makes it easier to hit 120 poison. Exactly. Burst makes it easier to hit 100 poison. So we want to hit that around 360 HP. I'm taking more than two damage though because I'm taking um. It's it's not two damage. Like he's getting the 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 buff buff. So he's gonna be like at uh, I think like five damage here. Okay, he went up to six. I still don't have Wally plans in play. Zero cost slimes, what is this? Why do I should play them? But like, okay, I'm playing too many cards now. We got well laid for the burst. We also did, played seven cards for nothing. Okay, it's fine though. So I'm thinking maybe we can do Burst Catalyst. We have the Burst, we have the Poison. Okay, so... How about we do Poison and then save Burst Cat... Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Poison now, Burst Catalyst? How much is that? That's... Well, we're taking a lot of damage. We also have, Jesus, we have a lot of Poison. We do the math, guys. Actually, let's do the math. So if I can... If I can make it so that I'm not dying this turn... Then... I will... If it's guaranteed 3 turn lethal, then I will get down to 1 HP and I don't care. So let's do the math. 6 plus 5 is 11 on top of 30, 33, so it's gonna be 36, 36, it's gonna be 7240, okay. So 7244. It's gonna bring him down to... That's perfect, but I need to defend on top of that, so... How do I make this work? I need to be able to do Corpse and Deadly, or maybe I can just get away with doing like... 
Okay, so maybe the fact that like I, I get to 100 poison is enough. If we take into account like the fact that we're gonna get um, we're gonna have like strikes and stuff, right? What I could do, there's another catalyst coming up. So, let's do this. Is this too much poison? Alright, now, now I may do too much because now you might. Now I might do too much damage because he's at 350 and when I do double callus it's going to be like too much damage. Like for instance, it's going to be 124 poison which brings him down on the first hit. Which is what I want to avoid. Whereas last turn was perfect because he didn't take that hit of poison. Now it's not perfect. Uh, another consideration here. Two turn lethal. If we bring him down. If we can somehow do like burst catalyst when he's around 250 HP and bring it to like 120 poison, then we have two turn lethal. So next play is two turn lethal. So we're going to avoid the three turn lethal that we wanted and go for two turn lethal and hold on to catalyst and find burst when he's low enough around 250 ish. So right now we've got bouncing. Which is going to do 43, 86 poison. But then you add to the fact that he's going to do some couch ops damage himself. And I'll have like Predator Terror. Well, no, that the first hit. That's not quite 2 turn lethal though. Let's just make sure it's 2 turn lethal. Now is the time to shine. We need to get... That's it. This is it. This is the time. This is where we go. This is the time. This is it. There's the burst. Ooh. I think we just avoid the burst. You know what? Burst can't, can't be a thing. It's the time to go, right? I mean, 90. Plus the fact that he's going to hit himself in the face. It's close enough. It's close enough. We have fire pot. And we have, like, some damage as well. On top of it, we got healing. Want the healing here? Plus, that six damage is relevant. All right. Ah, okay. Wait, I'm stupid. Ah, I'm stupid. 20 plus 16. I should have left myself more cards. I should have left myself more cards. If I left myself more cards, I can do Predator last night for something else. Forgot that I need to do a decent amount of damage. Okay. 36. Damn, that's not nearly enough. I should have left myself more cards. Like, don't do cow traps. Just leave myself like three or two or three cards. Because this would have been enough. Predator, Glass Knife, and Fire Pot. Oh, that's rip. No, it's, we're still fine, but... Okay, let me see. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Oh, stupid. Yeah, it's literally just... It comes down to just not playing couch up for neutralize. Neutralize is unnecessary, doesn't do enough damage, waste one card. Yikes. I think we still do it, but... 
see what happens. All right, I really punched it there. Let me find the weekend. The weekend's too expensive. Problematic. First backflip here. First backflip, I suppose. Maybe just do burst defender and call it a day. Twenty-two. I can do fire pot lethal, but let's do that as last resort. 24, 22, 46 plus 32. Okay. So we could have been a little bit healthier. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference. We have a big shop. The shop has to be massive here. That was a really bad punt though. I, I left myself with one card. I didn't take an account that I have to do like 50 damage. More catalyst. So Ghost and Jar is better here, right? Ghost and Jar is definitely the play. Calculate Gamble is also a play, so we just want to calculate Gamble to make sure we have okay. Um, uh, this is the highest win rate. Relic, actually. The Walt Mame is bad because it's going to prematurely play Priest of Will. It's going to prematurely do Catalyst. It's just bad. But Cauldron, <laughs> the high screen Relic, like, no. It's just, so I think it's just here is Removal and Catalyst and Calculate Gable. Maybe Ghost in the Jar instead of Strength Pot. Strength Pot could be relevant, but I think Catalyst is more our thing. So Ghost in the Jar, we're going to go ahead and. Oh, weak Pot. Weak Pot is very interesting as well because we do have Paper Crane. So Fire Pot is nice, right? I know. I, that's, I, the reason why Cauldron is the best, the best winning rate is because uh, apparently, it's it's people usually buy it when they're already pretty, doing pretty well, right? Because you wouldn't buy this normally, but if you're well enough, <laughs> you you'll buy this. And I don't know. It, it was just a silly statistic. Firepot is nice to kill the actual elite, but I think weekend might be more important. Yo, Le Bonti, Le Bonti, Le Bonti, or whatever it is. Thank you. Welcome to the germ pool. Appreciate the support. It's just memes. It's just memes. Yeah, it's just a meme. Uh, we're going to remove a strike. So, Shuriken is like a thing of the past. And yeah, I think Weak Pot is more important. Now, I can imagine that, you know, Fire Pot on the Elite, it might be relevant because that can hit that little corpse explosion proc, but I imagine the weakness is also really important too. It's hard to say, man. I wish I had potion belt. But we're just gonna buy blood vial. Blood vial, we're gonna get rid of that. And uh, I guess we could do cauldron and see what we get. Alright. Poison for bigger callus. I still think the weakening in the Goshen Jar are the best thing though. I'm just downstairs. I'm just downstairs. That's a new, new space. It is a win more relic. Exactly. So, Anthony says the highest win rate, but it was, it's kind of a meme. So, we can do Callus now. Callus, and then we'll hope that we find. We have a lot of Callus right now. And we hope that we find the um, Corpse Explosion. That, I think that's the best bet.
I couldn't. I couldn't even have more catalyst to be honest. It also wasn't the, the be best catalyst. There's corpse explosion. How could you go and dry this turn? Piercing blast. How much is it doing? Since we have Pandagraph, maybe we can just do Piercing Well and Ghost in the Jar. I mean, it might not be relevant enough. So, as long as... Okay, so we're looking at 16 plus 12. We're looking at 20, um, 28 plus another 4. 32 damage. We're blocking 8. We're taking 20, um, 24. And then we have... We're healing for 2 plus... We're healing for 27, right? So... We bought Cauldron, but... So the new stream space. Uh, so I moved down to stairs because L's upstairs streaming. So we just, just so um, we did buy cauldron because that had, had nothing else to do with the gold. <laughs> so I think we just take the hit here, and then we um, save Ghost and Jar for the, the heart, and let we let Pantograph and Bloodvile do some stuff. Now one thing to consider: okay, we got weaken, right? So weaken. We also got piercing wheel. We got burst piercing wheel. We also got weaken. This guy is now. We. I wish it wasn't so expensive. And we could use a weak pot now. I wish I could do like burst weaken weaken over here. The weaken is gonna be massive. I wish I could do piercing wheel weaken as well. But um, we could also do burst defense. Let's say we do like weaken. All right, and then we do like burst defense, and then it's not too bad. I mean, I'm making them backflip or something. I, I thought that was the best play. Now we want to weaken this guy because we want this this guy. Once this guy di dies, we're, we win. So we want to just. Also, we kind of want to play our powers before the fight's over. So hopefully, I have time to play some couch traps. So my whole goal here is to make sure this guy's dying, which he's he's dying this turn. So we're gonna go ahead and try to look for powers now to get some healing. Got some healing. Alright, so we healed up. We're gonna get some nice healing right now. Blue candle. Ooh, that's a footwork plus. It's pretty good. Acrobatics plus is pretty good as well. Acrobatics plus means I'm gonna find my weekend more often. Make some snake wide turns a little bit less awkward, but I think footwork plus is the play. Broken Dagger for Shuriken is a consideration, but I think we're going for the Catalyst play here just to have the damage with the poison and then try to block as much as possible. Mitigate with Paper Crane and Ghost in the Jar. Things for work plus here. We healed up pretty well. 56, not bad. Okay. Got early leg sweep. Fantastic. Early footwork. Fantastic. Let's consider the fact that we should. Block first. While he plans early, all cheap. We got piercing wheel ready at the. Oh my god, this is very nice. We got blur as well. We also have callus, but callus is gonna come later on. So our goal here is to hold on to piercing, which is zero, and his piercing wheel plus on top of that. The ghost and jar and weaken. He's not gonna do that much damage here. Probably don't even need a piercing wheel here. It's only 15, so we're good. We're gonna use the opportunity to get poison. And hold on to piercing. I mean, I could probably just hold on to backflip at this point because he's not doing multi hit. So, we'll let that cycle. And our goal here is not to try to get the catalyst stacked up before he gets artifacts. So, we got burst catalyst. Let's see if we can do better though. Burst catalyst now. It's 30 poison. It's not the worst, right? There's, there's another catalyst in the deck. So, I think I just go shoot that off so I can. Get damage done, but oh, he's doing 40 damage. Just keep that in mind. So burst, defend, defend. A 40 is not too bad. No, 40 is not too bad. Oh my god, can you guys see my dog here? You guys can see him. He's laying on top of my pillow right here. Oh my god. Get burst to get the. Yeah, I could do. Um, I wish burst was upgraded, man. We could do burst catalyst to get the poison rolling and do ghost now, but I think we're gonna need ghost in a different turn, so. Let's do backflip first. 
Back flip again. They won't let us do burst, but we can maybe find better costed stuff and maybe find our cow traps, get them out of the deck. I didn't take that into account. We can do one catalyst now. It's not the greatest amount of poison. Oh, you wanna kinda of wanna play Terror. You wanna play Terror right like right now on this turn when so, so he's about to remove I don't think he removes the terror debuff, right? It stays on him. Am I mistaken? Am I mistaken in when I are removing the terror debuff here? Like I th think it. I think he keeps it. So he removes negative strength, but he keeps the terror. I'm pretty sure, right? Or does he remove all debuffs? Either way, I want to get this out of this, the deck. I also want to play the Caltrops though, because he's about to do. He's about to do multi hit. And we want to maybe do Caltrops, Caltrops, Bouncing Flash, and hold on to Piercing Whale. We're gonna weaken. Ah, we should probably weaken now, yeah, because he's he is gonna. He is gonna have artifacts. Now you could argue that. You could argue that, you know, we can use Bouncing Flash and hold on to it to remove that artifact, but... Okay, so... 30 damage and nothing. We could, um, Corpse and then Piercing. And take nothing. But I want to I wanna get a Defend first, but see, the problem with Defend first is that Piercing is expensive. So, I kind of want to do Backflip and maybe do Cockle again to get better cost right here. Let's just see. So we can do Terror, and then Corpse and Catalyst, and then take the hit here. Like, so, Terror, Corpse, Catalyst. We're taking a hit, but we have Ghost and Jar next turn. So, that means we get a bigger Catalyst scaling, but we also are not blocking as much as we can. So if I do Calculated Now... I can find some more block. Or find that piercing will that's cheaper. This one's too expensive. Um, let me see here. It's gonna be 72 poison. It's pretty significant. It's gonna start getting him to, to die. Uh, we're gonna take some big hits here though. Alright, so taking 30 damage now and artifact for next turn. Ah, uh, I've probably. There's another Callus in the deck. But maybe I was. Ah, uh, fuck. I should have maybe kept the block. I didn't. I have three Callus. I forgot about, about another one. We should probably be fine. I'll take the 30 here. We should probably be fine here. We're probably fine. We're fine. We're fine. 28. Okay, that's manageable. Burst Blur. Seems nice. That Burst Blur is probably going to win us the game right now. Because we, we still have Ghost in the Jar, so that Burst Blur is probably going to win us the game. I think the Burst Blur wins us the game. Hold on to piercing. Alright, we still have ghost. And we're gonna hope that we get a little bit more damage along the way. Like, we have a decent turn here where we have a glass knife, dagger spray, finisher. This damage becomes relevant. But you also don't want to lose too much block in the process. We have another blur, so blocking right now is not bad. Hold on to piercing here. Uh, we don't. We got burst again. We also got leg sweep. We could do burst leg sweep and make him vulnerable for the rest of his life, or we can do acrobatics look for blur again. Or next turn we have piercing, so piercing is just gonna carry next turn, and then we have ghost in the jar for another turn, and then we just win. Because Callus is chicken down, we have ghost next two turns we're totally fine, and then ghost for another turn. We have a turn in between that as well. So we already won, I'm pretty sure, but um I think I'd rather look for blur here.
We can hold on to burst actually. No, we, we gotta we gotta hold on to piercing wheel. That's the thing. Blur's coming up, but we gotta hold on to piercing wheel for next turn. Even though it's so expensive. So just piercing wheel now, new catalyst as well. And that's GG boys. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. It's a good day to kill a heart. It goes to jar as well. Alright, we punted a little bit, right? Was that exactly this first win of 2019? First heart kill of 2019. But, uh. Alright, the deck was very strong. But carried us. What? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Well, carried us Paper Crate. Again, Paper Crate is like. Can we just, like. Can I get a Paper Crate poster in my room? Such a good relic. And Albie was on my lap the whole time. Look at this little boy.